My name is Constantine Bueller, and I'm a partner at Sequoia Capital. I formerly was at Meritech, where I co-founded the AI50 list with Forbes in 2019. When I went into venture capital, I was focused on artificial intelligence companies. And I got to look at a lot of really interesting companies. But what I realized very quickly is that not every company that said that they were AI really had a lot of AI to it. In fact, there was a lot of snake oil in the industry. Many of the AI companies that I was reviewing had very little AI or very little company. I realized, wow, there, there is a lot of confusion for people who are interested in artificial intelligence but don't know exactly where to start. And that's when I approached Forbes to consider the AI50 idea. What are the young people excited about? They're excited about, uh, quite frankly, leveraging their domain knowledge on top of the technology space, right? So they're interested in designing the algorithms, um, doing machine learning. I am really seeing uh, that the young people that I work with, the students, become more engaged in that space. And I can tell you it's irrespective of what, uh, what they're studying. This seems to have no boundaries. All 50 companies on this list have been rigorously reviewed for self-reported financial, personnel, diversity, culture, growth metrics. Both the companies that are nominated and the companies that are in the open application receive the same application. At that point, we take those 100 applicants and we give it to our world-class judges. These are top artificial intelligence experts in industry and in academia. Much like earlier disruptive ways of technology uh, from the uh, personal computer to the internet to mobile, I think AI, maybe even more than the previous ways of disruption, is transforming every industry. So I speak of CEOs in everything from uh, manufacturing to retail to agriculture to healthcare uh, that are all trying to figure out AI. I think we've transformed, our community collectively has transformed consumer software internet. So large consumer software internet companies use AI really well. Historically, uh, artificial intelligence has not been the most diverse field. And this is an area for improvement throughout the industry. In this year's list, diversity and inclusion was a significant part of the rankings. We're very happy to have seen that a lot of diverse founders, co-founders and companies uh, applied for the list and are being included in the list this year. I think there are a number of factors that go into that uh, investor bias. When I took a look at data that talks about what do the investors actually look like. What is very, very, very striking and is that when you're talking about um, venture-backed founders by um, race and ethnicity, I mean, I think it's like, I don't, I think it's like 0.05% that are black and brown and which, which makes for a very small sort of culturally competent and awareness of what happens in community. I think the lack of social capital is a part of it. And you tend to get sameness in smaller networks. And I think um, a large part of that um, um, happens when it comes to women and black and brown technologists as they're trying to garner uh, VC funding. And the diversity matters when it comes to uh, VC investors. Artificial intelligence will be a part of every company in 10 years. And the business leaders that see that is the reality and adopt it earlier will have a strategic advantage, will get ahead, and will propel their businesses forward because of it. The way for the U.S. to retake a greater leadership role in manufacturing, built for the next generation, not to try to rebuild the previous generation. Manufacturing is becoming digital. It's, it's a process. It's not a, we're, we're still on our way. Um, and I think that uh, the way to create more American jobs in manufacturing is to embrace digitization and AI so that American workers can gain the skills needed to build and deploy the next generation of technologies and apply it in the U.S. and around the world. Artificial intelligence revolution has potential to be as big, if not bigger, than the internet revolution. Early innings, as we're seeing now, a lot of the value in artificial intelligence is going to that horizontal AI, those picks and shovels that will be fueling the artificial intelligence revolution. 
as the innings continue in this incredible revolution, we're gonna see more and more companies that are actually serving the customer on the application layer, helping enterprises and individuals make better decisions faster each and every day.